Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan, and today we're gonna talk about makeup and dating. So for Men's Makeup May, I didn't just want to do a bunch of tutorials and collabs, I also wanted to sort of sit down and talk about some things makeup related, um, and some things that sort of affect the makeup wearing men out there. Sometimes when I was dating and I was going out for the first time with a guy, I would just avoid makeup entirely because I thought that would make whoever I was going out with uncomfortable, and then I felt uncomfortable because I sort of wanted to be wearing makeup because wearing makeup makes me feel comfortable and makes me feel happy. Happy. So then I felt like I was lying to myself and I was lying to them and I was changing myself so that I could appear more desirable on a date and it just got to be this big huge mess and I realized that I should just be me and present myself as who I am and who I want to be so that when I meet people and when I go on dates they can really see me. And luckily I found and fell in love with somebody amazing who loves me for me and doesn't care if I wear makeup on Tuesday and have a completely bare face on Wednesday and walk out of the house in full smoky eyes and lashes on Thursday. Um, and hopefully everybody out there will find someone just like that. Which is why I titled this video Mask for Mascara. I thought it was a cute funny play on words and I believe Chris Crocker had a video called Mask for Mascara at one point in time as well. Um, but a lot of guys you'll see on their dating profiles and things, um, the word mask for mask, which means they are a masculine looking and acting guy and they are looking for a masculine looking and acting guy and I assume that would mean that they don't want to date somebody who wears makeup and that is totally fine. You do you, you date who you want to date and you look how you want to look. Um, but I don't think that you should discount or discredit a whole group of men who just want to present their best face. And if you are a guy who does wear makeup, you shouldn't have to feel afraid to wear your makeup and present yourself how you normally would or however makes you feel comfortable to go out on a date just to make the person you're going on the date with feel comfortable. Because if you can't be yourself and you can't feel comfortable around the person you're dating, they're definitely not somebody that you should be dating. If you wearing makeup makes them feel uncomfortable, they're definitely not the person for you. I guess basically what I'm trying to say is don't be afraid to be you. Wear your full face of makeup on your first date if that's what makes you comfortable and that's how you feel like you want to present yourself. And if the person you're going on a date with feels uncomfortable because you're wearing makeup, leave. Go home, call an Uber, get out of there. They're not for you, move on. You'll find somebody who loves you and appreciates you for you. And for those of you on the opposite side of the situation and you go out on a date with somebody and they show up wearing makeup and that makes you uncomfortable, they're free to do whatever makes them comfortable and whatever makes them happy. And you're free to step aside. If you're one of those guys out there who feels empowered by wearing makeup and really enjoys to wear it and wants to feel completely comfortable in themselves enough to wear their makeup out in the world, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below if there's any other topics that you want me to touch on during Men's Makeup May. And I hope that you are all following this tag on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and watching all of the videos that I am working with other guys to create for this whole month. Side note, if you like what I'm wearing on my face today, I'll leave all of the products in the description box below. I always link everything that's on my face or that I use in my videos in the description box below for you to check out. And I think that's pretty much it. Make sure you check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all at John John Talks. Click on my face now to be subscribed to my channel so that you can be here for all of my videos, and I will see you all next time. Bye! Got a couple options from the drugstore. The first is the Remmel Match Perfection Concealer. This is in the shade 230, which is fair to light. This is a really great undetectable under eye.